SBEC is one paper where you have to score 60 plus because it is easy compared to other subjects. It is easy for us to tell, but how do you present answers? What are the ways to get 60 plus marks? How can you attempt for all the questions? We will look at that in Subbu Lakshmi's paper in this video. She has been a student of Excel Academy. You might have also seen some of her videos which we have done on the best coaching videos and she was very, very hardworking and that is what has got her result and 62 marks is not a small thing. Let us get into SBC paper. Please observe the kind of uh, presentation you too can adopt it in your exam and you too can do well yes now let us look at how one of our students has got not 55 but 62 marks in SBEC so SBEC is one subject which you can definitely score so please try to do your best so Subbu Lakshmi has scored these marks and if you see her she has started writing with question number six she's got four marks five marks all of that and also one small thing before that don't forget to mark see here how many additional sheet you took which are the questions which you have attended don't forget to mark this it's very important that you darken the the circles it is uh, necessary don't forget that all right so now when you look at this what is the answer so there is a first question types of companies which cannot be removed for strike off under 248 of companies act so they've given new question where you have to list it out so she has written the answer very nice pr presentation first thing is she has written the provision of law that is what is the section number which is great so 248 248 subsection 2 company cannot be removed from the strike off like example listed company then she's given the list vanishing company all the list complete list she has given very well company has pending charges against it so four marks has been scored so now the thing is she has left this entire page you don't have to do so much because only one line is used you can start the new answer here but she has left it describe the procedure mentioned under section 53 of IBC for distribution of assets so they asked about pro procedure so again this presentation is very good first you're telling what is the law that is the section number okay and then how you do the distribution of assets so if you see here she has written in points and left one line so presentation is good you can also write one two like that instead of arrow but that's not a big uh, problem then the waterfall arrangement she has drawn the diagram very well so in waterfall arrangement first we need to pay process cost then workmen dues then wages then financial debt then government dues so like that the order of paying payment so waterfall is obviously it goes from top to down right so same thing in IBC what is the payment order of payment so that is waterfall arrangement so the presentation is very good so whom we should pay last payment goes to equity shareholders presentation is very simple and nice then conclusion so five marks has been awarded so if you see this is a five marks question so five out of five so if you write, they will give marks. Presentation is really nice. Please take a cue out of this particular answer. Fine. Next, we come to winding up. So winding up, there is a question. They've given a certain fact. Decide whether workmen have right to be heard in winding up petition. So here, we are just trying to show you the presentation and how they have uh, written. That is more important for you. So again, a nice introduction. Even in our one day, one answer. So in our Excel Academy mentorship, we had something called as one day one answer where we have a whatsapp group so students write one answer of an old question paper so everybody writes and we give feedback and this way they improve so students write this for almost 100 days in 100 days they will improve correct winding up facts of the case First introduction, what is winding up in one line? Very good. This is what I used to suggest and she has done it. Facts of the case she has given. Then the case law. She remembers the case law, which is amazing. An analysis of the case law. Again, see the presentation, leaving one line. This makes the answer look neat and beautiful. It is very important. Answer is legible. So that is the reason why you should also write like that. So this way, it looks good. So in conclusion. So three marks has been awarded. So anyway, this paper correction is little strict because see, she has scored 55 and after rationalization, they've given seven marks. So 62. So whoever tells ICSA is not fair in correction, I don't agree. Even if there is a strict correction, they will add the mark. Yes, there could be one to two papers here and there, but that should not uh, make you demotivated. So creditors have been satisfied. Can adjudicating authority without waiting for 180 days approve the resolution plan? In IBC. So they've given facts of the case. Again, provision. So she has maintained a very nice consistency. What consistency? Consistency in writing style. Very, very consistent. So then she has done the analysis. So all the points has been written and presentation is so neat. So anybody feels like reading and correcting. Then she has given conclusion. Three marks has been given. So actually more marks should be given. At least four should be given for this. But as I told you, little 
स्ट्रिक्ट करेक्शन दे वॉट इज थ्रेश होल्ड लिमिट फॉर मेकिंग अपलिकेशन फॉर इंसॉलमेंसी लिक्विडेशन सो थ्री मार्क्स क्वेश्चन इंसॉलमेंसी रिलेटेड एवरीथिंग एज बीन रिटर्न सो हियर सिंस द आंसर इज रॉन्ग zero various complaints of dormant company so what should dormant company do so first introduction meaning what is the provision section 455 complaints requirements of dormant company has been written very well excellent then what are the forms it has to be filed so three marks has been awarded and it is a three marks question so three marks question three marks has been awarded full so everything is correct can petition for winding up be made by profit making company three marks so she has given everything with condition two marks has been given actually three should have been given here but yeah i told you this little strict correction then she has written the third uh, question answer for the third question so she has given an entire list well presented and marks have been scored if you see here 3 plus 2 is the question and she has scored full marks 3 plus 2 5 okay again case law with analysis see the consistency in the style facts of the case analysis with detailed points fine and conclusion very well written so it's a five marks question when you've written everything with analysis and conclusion five marks so it's valid or not so this way the person correcting knows that you have application of law application of mind you know how to apply the law to real situation real life situations clear entrepreneurs are required to obtain certain clearances relating to pollution control and environment when setting up a industrial project so they've given facts again now we have to explain relating to the licenses so what is pollution control board see in one line is written very well and the point presentation is so good then charts charts are so important all excel academy students are writing charts because that is what we teach when we are doing the classes and that is what they are written in the exam and they are getting so that we have been getting amazing results thanks to the hard working students and obviously the teacher so in this answer she has written everything in a very nice manner if you see here example has also been given examples always add Add marks. Never forget that. Wherever possible, you have to write the examples. See here again. Example. Very good. Examples. So when you do that, you will get the mark. Definitely, person who is correcting will give you the mark. It's a five marks question, and because of the wonderful presentation, correct answer with examples, and the points are very much in depth. So that is the reason why you are getting the full mark. Define commercial establishment under Shop and Commercial Establishment Act. What do you mean by assignment of a trademark? This is another question. So shops and commercial establishment. Act they've given commercial establishment means so what does it mean? Bar, theater, public amusement, restaurant, shopping mall, but does not include following. So what it doesn't include they've given. Then in copyright, what is assignment? So this is not exactly written, but still you're getting one mark. So not bad. It is possible if you write whatever you know, you'll get the marks. So any business entity doing business in India requires PAN card. Yes or no? You should tell. So first she has written what is a PAN? Permanent account number that one. Then explanation. Yes, any business needs the a PAN. So So why is that required? So complete answer has been given, but answer correction is little strict. They have given one mark. They could have easily given two out of three for this kind of question. Minimum they could have given. Then there is another case law question where facts of the case she has written the presentation format. Statutory record is given. So two marks has been awarded over here. So next something about FSS AI. So somebody is called Ramesh is setting up manufacturing unit for ghee ghee. Okay, which is basically made out of butter. He seeks your advice for FSA license. since before you go ahead so they've given she's given the facts then what is fss ai then what is required so since answer is fully not correct one mark is there no problem if you attempt everything you'll get the mark so cash records so what is cash records she has written two marks question so anyway the format is same i don't want to go more and just uh, tell the same thing again and again but if you see she has maintained the same format of writing attempted all the marks and this way even if answer is not fully correct you will get the marks and this is the best way for you to score here there's a difference between public and private trust question and always write in columns and you will get one mark so really well presented and this is a question relating to startup company wants to issue sweat equity shares what are the provisions so what is startup company correct then sweat equity share not more than 50% so it's written well so the quantity is not there but quality is there three marks has been scored so this is how you write and very well written and as i told you overall she has attempted 
for the entire paper so this gives you a great chance to do well when you have attempted for the entire paper this is something which you should also plan the correction is strict so 55 plus 7 62 marks has been scored so i hope you got the picture you too can do this so we would like to thank subbu lakshmi for sharing her paper and if you want to know everything anything about cs scores or if you also want to score high marks you can whatsapp us this is our whatsapp number and we'll be there to help you once again thanks to our students for sharing our sharing their papers to show everybody on youtube to how to present answers in the cs exam thank you and i will see you in the next video